Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Today we're going to feature two of the most user-friendly, uh, best tier 10 tanks in the game. Uh, some of you have asked questions and left comments or asked me on stream, what line should I go down when I'm just starting the game? What would be a, a, a good, friendly, easy line to go down? Excuse me guys, I'm going to sneeze. I didn't sneeze. Ah, uh, I don't know if it's uh, something in the air or if I'm catching a cold, but uh, how's my voice sound? Do I sound like I'm catching a cold? Okay. Well, um, some of you have asked, uh, if you're just a beginner, what should I do? How should I start the game? What should I go down? And uh, Let me start by telling you what you shouldn't do. And number one, if you're just a beginner and you're just starting the game and you want to go down a few lines, don't pick light tanks. Don't go down any light tank lines. You'll suck. Because right? if you're a beginner and you're just starting the game and you don't understand the spotting mechanics and you don't have good crews to start off and you don't understand the importance of having a good crew and uh, you simply haven't had time to grind uh, a good crew, which remember, when you've played a long time and you've got a lot of good crews in different tanks, you may have played heavy tanks or medium tanks or TDs or whatever, SBGs even, and after years, you get bored of the tanks you have, you want to try some light tanks, you can move those crews uh, into your light tanks, retrain them in that light tank, and start playing light tanks with uh, three or four skill crews. Okay. So number one, don't start with light tanks because they're the hardest tank class to uh, perform really well in. Okay. Secondly, don't start with the tanks that are really specific and difficult to use. Um, for example, turretless TDs or um, very specific auto loaders, which can be fantastic. Okay, can, it can be fantastic. The bat chat, the French tier 10 bat chat, can be amazing. But to grind to that uh, bat chat, you got to go through some light tanks and some medium auto loaders. And a beginner in a bat chat will suck, okay? It's just a very specific way of playing that tank. It's a very specific tank. Then number two, very specific auto-loading tanks. Probably not a good choice just as to start, right? Great choice if you're... You know what I'm trying to say, just for beginners. And thirdly, um, what was I going to say? Uh, those very lightly armored tanks that uh, can poof, you're gone. If, if a player shoots HE at you, a tier 10 tank and shoot HE at you and roll 997 because you're an easy pen. It's mainly light tanks, but some lightly armored medium tank lines that are very difficult for a beginner. I.E. one of the best medium tank lines in the game, the German that gets to the Leopard. Very difficult, okay? Because one mistake in the Leopard and you're dead. And it's hard for a beginner because you don't have full, full concealment crew, you don't have you know, all, all the really good equipment, uh, the, the field mods, everything to to mitigate and to make it, uh, like, to make you competitive, right? I'm going to get into the tank lines you should use in a minute, but just one last comment. And I stand by that. Even a super unicom. Okay, I don't care who you pick. The best players in World of Tanks. Whatever streamer you watch instead of me that you think is the best player. Klaus, you suck. I watch so-and-so because he's amazing. All right? You put him in a, a light tank. Make him play a manticore, but give him a crew that does not have concealment, does not have view range skills, no food, no field modifications, okay? Uh, and, and no special camo. And they will suck. Just like me. <laughs> and just like any beginner, okay? Because this is a grinding game. You don't start this game and press battle and are equivalent to everyone else on the battlefield. This is a grinding game where you grind and grind and grind and grind and build up your tank and the skills on your tank and the equipment and you get better and better and better the more hours you put in. Simply by the fact that you get better equipment, better crew skills, better field modification, all of it, right? You guys know that, right? This is a, a, a grind to get better game. So having said all that, that's the preamble. A couple of very, very user-friendly lines to, to start. And this one here, we are featuring the Object uh, 277. The Russian heavy line that leads to the fairly mobile, um, very good gun handling 
tier 10 heavy tank that we're watching on the Object 277. Uh, we are watching Jetamaku from the HRV JB clan. Shout out to you guys who's having an excellent game. And this is a very user friendly line because although, although this is the more lightly armored line, there's a more heavily armored line in for the Soviet heavies. There's a few of them. There's the IS-4, that's the heavily armored line. Then there's the rear mounted object 705A. That's a very heavily armored two heavy tank lines. Uh, a little bit more quirky to play. This is the more lightly armored Soviet heavy line, which just means it has better armor than almost all the other tanks in the game anyway. Okay, because it's the lightly armored Russia uh, line. And this is a Russian game. And this is a user-friendly line because even in the lightly armored <laughs> Soviet heavy line, this guy's bounced 5,640 damage. And he just bounced, now he's, he's bounced over 6,000 damage. And in this line, as well as the other uh, Russian heavy lines, but I, I'm featuring, I think this is one of the most user-friendly because you have mobility and you have really good gun handling and you have armor. So you can accidentally do well what do you mean by that i mean you can roll out and this guy's a good player he knows what he's doing okay and he's bounced six thousand damage so far six thousand enemies have shot him and would have done six thousand hp of damage uh if his armor hadn't have blocked it now in some games not all the time but in some games you can block six thousand damage by accident in this Russian heavy line, as well as some of the other ones. But you know, in, in the, we're talking about this one. You could accidentally block uh, 3,000 damage in one game. Accidentally. You'll drive out in the open, people will shoot you in the side, and they'll say, that one bounced. They'll shoot you in the rear, and they'll say, ricochet. They'll shoot you in the turret. You, you will accidentally bounce to 2,000. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you will. Now, when you're playing the leopard, if you decide to go down, there's a leopard over there, or if you choose to... To play light tanks for your first time unless it's Russian <laughs> the Russian light tank might bounce some shots but if, if you choose to play go down the leopard line you're not gonna accidentally bounce 3,000 damage in any game you play ever you could play a thousand games in your leopard and you'll never b accidentally bounce 3,000 damage ever you have to know what you're doing and if you get hit by 3,000 HP worth of shells you will die and that's the difference. Now this tank, uh, look at this tank. This tank moves around the battlefield quickly. Uh, it has a gun that when you aim it, hits bullseye almost all the time. Um, it's got more HP because it's a heavy tank. Uh, it actually has decent concealment as well. And you may accidentally bounce uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 damage in a game, even if you suck. So that's a, this is a user-friendly line. So as a beginner, um, and you don't know what to, to try, go for the user-friendly line. This is the user-friendly heavy line in the game. There's, I'm not saying uh, that all the other lines suck and this is the, this is the best line. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm not saying that uh, uh, you, you should not try any of the other ones. I like playing the mouse, but grinding the mouse there's some tanks in that grind that are, you won't bounce accidentally anything, <laughs> especially in the low tiers, and are very frustrating. Or if you, you try and play light tanks to start off without crew skills, very frustrating. Not that they won't, they're not good. I have a, a blast pay, playing my tier seven and tier eight light tanks mainly. Nine and 10, not so much, but tier seven and eight, I really love playing the, uh, my all the light tanks at that tier. And I have great crews in all of them because I've taken the time to get the good crews. And I kind of understand spotting and I know where to go to spot. And um, I, I just, I do really well in them. But if you're a beginner, uh, that's not the, you're not gonna accidentally do well, okay? User-friendly line, Russian heavy line that leads to the Object 277. Probably the most user-friendly, um, easiest, uh, the line that you could accidentally uh, do well. And he did not accidentally ace this tank. He played a fantastic game. He got 10 kills, 11,270 
227 damage. So in the hands of a great player, this is also a fantastic tank, but it's a user-friendly line. Another line that is super user-friendly and one of the best lines to start off with is the Russian medium line that leads to the Object 430U. And we're gonna watch Radioactive Simon from the Tread Clan. Shout out to you guys. Play this tank and have a fantastic game. So one heavy line, the Russian line that leads to the 277. One medium line, the medium line that leads to the Object 430U. Uh, super user friendly, uh, just a, a, a dream and a user friendly line to grind all the way to this, uh, this final tier 10. Why? Because it has everything, okay? Mobility, fantastic gun, it has everything that the other medium tanks have in it. Good concealment, uh, good view range, good uh, detection, and boom, you shoot the Leopard for 446, or was that a standard B? Whoever he shot there, that guy has no chance of bouncing his shot, and um, he cannot accidentally bounce this shell. Whereas the Object 430U, uh, even if you don't play it perfectly, you, d you have armor, and that makes it a user-friendly uh, line uh, it, the, about the only thing that this does not have is um, really good gun depression. If you're a beginner, that's probably not a make it or break it for you because you're not going to be in the in the best map positions where you can use your gun depression anyway. If you're a beginner, uh, you're rolling out there and you're going to where the enemies are and you're shooting them and they're shooting you. And the user-friendly lines that I'm showing you are where you can accidentally uh, you can accidentally bounce shells. These two lines are the most, in my opinion, the most user-friendly lines. Now let's watch him have a fantastic game. and uh, Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you guys think. Uh, remember, this video is catered, uh, geared towards beginners, because I've been asked the question many times. What should I start with? I don't know what tank to start with. Uh, you know what? I, I, I went down the Manticore line, and I only made it to tier 6, and then I had to give up. You're like, don't start with the British light tank line if you're a beginner, right? Because you will suck from the minute you start till you get to tier 10. And then when you get to tier 10, you'll suck more. <laughs> because it's almost unplayable, even for good players. You can't accidentally do anything in the British light tank line. It's probably the most user unfriendly line in the game. Right? Then... There's, some, there's a lot of fantastic medium tanks in the game. Like fantastic medium tanks. I love my Leopard. Not a user-friendly line to grind down. I love my standard B. Not a user-friendly line to go down because you have no armor. And uh, if you don't know how to use those autoloaders, you're... I, I don't know. You just... It's not going to go well for you. <laughs> uh, I love the, the Czechoslovakian uh, medium line. Once again... Uh, fantastic medium line but uh, as a beginner you're gonna start with that the grind to get those guns uh, in, um, in, in tier 8 and 9 before you get the auto loading guns those stock guns are just brutal playing those tanks they have no armor uh, they're not that fast they don't have better view range than any of the other ones they don't have any better concealment you have nothing better than any of the other tanks and you have these long grinds with uh, terrible guns. And then when you get the auto loader, if you don't know how to use it, if you don't know how to make your three shots count, uh, you know, you're, you're plinking away. Uh, you bounce your three shots on the Russian tank and he shoots you back for 476. So great lines, but not user friendly. Okay? And then there's some TD lines uh, that are not user friendly. Any of the TDs that don't have good uh, armor that you, you, you know you're a sniper <laughs> and you, you try and grind to the grille and, and see how that goes if you're a beginner if you don't have a full concealment crew full gunnery skills it's uh oh beautiful shot as who says this gun doesn't handle well you know every line has its quirkiness and its pluses and minuses and most almost all the lines in the game um have uh, negatives that you have to mitigate when you play them. Like some tanks have no armor, so you have to not get detected or have very good view range or concealment. Some tanks um, have very poor gun handling, but good armor. 
Uh, so you have to get in close, try and go down the badger line, right? But you have to know how to make your armor work in those. You can't just blindly move forward and show your lower plate. You have to know the positions on the map where you can get all down. You have to know the choke points where you can get to even though you're slow. Right? You have to know the places where you don't have to retreat, where you're not going to get surrounded. You got to know a lot of other things to make those tanks work. The two lines I'm featuring today are user-friendly in the sense that even if you don't know any of that stuff and you're just a casual player and you're going to roll out and play your two or three or five games a week, because uh, not everyone spends 11 hours a day playing this game, right? Some people only play on the weekend or they're never going to grind all the tanks. If you're a casual player that just wants to play and you're not going to get all, what is there, 540 tanks or however many there are. You're only going to get two or three lines and you want to enjoy the game and not get shit on all the time. Uh, then I think these two lines are for you. Russian, the mobile Russian heavy tank that leads to the Object 277. And the fairly mobile Russian medium tank that leads to this. And it's not just because it's Russian. For example, there's uh, uh, the Russian medium line that leads to the... Uh, the what is it the k91 the rear mounted one fantastic sniper right almost better than the leopard sniper but that line uh if you don't know what you're doing is disgusting those rear mounted turret uh, tanks it's very difficult to play can't use the topography you can't uh, poke over ridge lines it's very awkward i would not recommend that to any uh, beginner it's, of course, the tank has its positives and negatives, uh, but too many uh, negatives that for a beginner just wouldn't be able to handle or have a good gaming experience, right? So it's not just because these lines are Russian, uh, but seriously, I, I can't think of another heavy line that I would say uh, is better at, for a beginner than grinding the object 277. Like the French heavies? No. Uh, the French autoloaders? No. Uh, the British heavies? No. The, no. The German heavies? No. The American heavies? Are you kidding? Um, these are my picks. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, but I think uh, for a beginner, go down this Russian line to get yourself an object uh, 430U. And go down the Russian heavy line, get yourself an object 277. Play those two lines. You got heavy tanks, medium tanks. Anything a light tank can do, this medium line can do better. Anything any heavy tank can do, the Object 277 can do better. Pretty much. Um, and enjoy the game. That's my two bits for, for best beginner user-friendly lines. How is this guy doing? He's got 7,241 damage. He's bounced, he's a medium tank, guys, and he's bounced 3,000, over 3,000 damage. There are some beginners that will go down the heavy lines of different nations. Put your hand up if you're one of them. You know, go down the German heavies, or uh, and you will play uh, 10,000 games, and you will never bounce 3,000 damage. You know, you'll you'll get to tier nine in the German heavy line. You'll get to the E75, and finally, finally, you'll have one game where you bounce 2,500 damage by mistake, you know, because the enemies didn't. Because you accidentally protected your lower plane. I'm not talking about the Unicoms, okay? I know you can bounce a lot of damage in any 75. I'm talking about wait, beginners. There's some heavy lines. You'll never bounce 3,000 damage. So why not play this medium line and you might accidentally bounce 3,000 damage. And you know what the significance of that, guys, is that number one, the enemy team has wasted 3,000 HP worth of shooting that otherwise that would have counted, right? If you were playing a leopard, th the enemies would have got that 3,000 damage. Your team would have lost earlier. And secondly, uh, you might accidentally stay alive longer because <laughs> you'd be dead if you didn't bounce those 3,000 HP, right? Uh, you, oh, look, that guy aimed, right? He accidentally, he didn't, he didn't angle. He just accidentally bounced the projecto. The projecto aimed, 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 and it says, no, Papa Tanya, for you, that one bounce. It's Russian armor. And you accidentally stay alive, which means you can keep fighting. And if you keep fighting, you have more fun. <laughs> you have more chance of winning. You have more. 
that doesn't mean you're going to have a higher win rate or you know that these tanks uh, it probably means that uh, a unicom playing these tanks is going to have some of the best games that you'll see because not only will they have all the skills to do everything they will also be able to accidentally <laughs> bounce shots so you got everything you got you got it all when you're when you're playing one of these and now he's he's how's he gonna do it boom and he absorbed one in the tracks and he just plus you got a fantastic uh, heat round I guess <laughs> you got everything guys you got it now is he gonna bounce on his rear come on oh the gorilla is aiming the gorilla is aiming most accurate gun in the game he's aiming 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 and it took him too long and there's no cupola Daddy, why did I grind the grille? I don't see a cupola on that medium tank. Ah, there's no weak spot. The grille accidentally lost. Beautiful game, beautiful game. Uh, almost 10,000 damage, 10 kills with a medium tank. Fantastic. Guys, leave some comments in the comment section. Maybe I, I had a couple of cups of coffee, so I talked a little bit faster than normal today. I apologize. But uh, try the, this video, I'm trying to be serious and giving some um, recommendation, a little advice for beginners two super user-friendly uh, lines that you can go down to enjoy this game more. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think. If you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow. And I will catch you guys on the next one.